Hi guys, welcome to this week's update video. Sorry it's a bit late, um, it was my birthday so I just kind of chilled out and didn't really do it. And I was still painting and stuff but I just wasn't really too worried about the videos and just took it nice and handy. But uh, that's over now so back to normality. Uh, it was an absolute, I don't know, shutdown of social media and stuff the other day. I was trying to post on Instagram and like posts and stuff. Um, I updated my hobby streak day 60 post I think, it was just vanished. Um, it's coming up when I try and type in the new hashtag that uh, I've already, like Hobby Day Streak 60 is in me recent. So I'm not really sure what the crack is there because it just keeps coming up on the top of my feed saying um, update or we'll try and post again. Uh, we'll keep you updated or something like that. And every time I click on it and say post now, nothing happens. So I don't know what the story is. But uh, I posted a video during the week and I only copped that. It didn't, uh, like three times I uploaded it and three times typed out the description, the title, blah blah blah, done the tags, picked the thumbnail and it's it never posted and I only realised today that it was still on private. So I've changed that now anyway, so there's a video going up yeah, three days ago. But anyway, uh, paint wise what I got done this week was uh, not a whole pile. I got a uh, game into Blood Angels and I nearly have the Reavers done but I'm going to keep that for the Blood Angels video because I'm going to work on them. I have painted the Witchwood, which you can see. Give me something to point there. The Witchwood is here. I have the piggyback stone, uh, the two cask imps, cask imps, the trapperkin, Malice, Elish, the Oculist. I mean, this uh, blue battle charging chick is Beth Maddox. I did not paint her the other night when I um, when I was painting on my birthday. I kind of painted some of my own stuff just. Uh, kind of break it a bit but it is war machine related I painted up my Signar jacks so they have basically just been given um, metallic base coats on the main parts and some quick washes so see uh, I, uh, I moved my light so that's not really going to work I'm going to tilt the camera up a bit sorry now Yeah, the light's probably too bright. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, so basically, I just uh, just googled the art uh, for these guys on the privateer website. Just painted them up as close as I could. It was uh, just very quick painting because I wanted to get them done for the slow grow campaign. Um, same with this guy here. Just metallics. No highlights or anything like that or OSL effects. Uh, doesn't seem to want to focus on this guy. I'll stop here and change the settings and I'll come back. Yeah, no, it is on the, uh, the the normal settings I'd use. So it's obviously I moved the light down to try and show these a bit better, but it's kind of messing with it a bit. And then obviously the Lancer as well. I, in the post I posted these guys on, I tagged this guy as hashtag Lancer in the Signar Jacks, and. Uh, some place in America that does uh, like Mitsubishi Lancer mods for cars followed me so I thought that was cool and then Beth Maddox is still in primer stage well base coat stage so I have a cask imp if I put my hand here it's gonna work. yeah so cask imp is done base and arcs are done there are pictures of these on the old Instagram same again this is the second one. Um, never got to finish the trapperkin base uh, trap thing because uh, that's oh you can't see that sorry. See that there? Invisible on the desk because this is how the desk looks over here. Look at that chaos everywhere. So yeah, I didn't even cop that that uh, wasn't done. So I'll get that done. Tonight probably. I'm gonna do a bit of painting. I have um, the actual trapper king himself. He needs just needs a wash in his teeth so he doesn't look like the Joker. And that's him done. Malice is done. So um, pretty cool dude. He's got a big claw. He's got some soles coming out of his backpack. Just the usual way. I paint up the the Crix jacks. This is on the Slayer chassis. So. You've seen this guy before, and I'm, 
I'm looking at a spinny thing online that I must really get, it'll make this a lot easier. So there's Elish the Oculus, I'll tilt this back up into the light. Painting um, a grey cloak is not easy, let me tell you. And uh, just in there, there's some. You can kind of see a hint of them. It's focusing on my hands more so than the model. Um, I tried uh, freehanding in some blue text, and then in the background there, I'll just I'll zoom in on this if it wants to focus. No, I don't want to focus. Yeah, so... Okay, that's probably the best I can get it. I'm going to move around the camera and try not knock it. So, this here is the leader. So... That's him there. There's two of the sculpts. He's got like a satchel thing, Kador helmet and a shield, and then there's two of this sculpt as well. There'll be pictures of these up on the Instagram, there are, there's always pictures of models I paint on the Instagram. And last but not least is the Witchwood. Actually it's not last, I have another model to show you in a minute. So that's the Witchwood there. I try to uh, hide the tree with the flock as much as possible. Almost as if um, you'd not see the tree and you focus more so on the chick giving you the apple. And the final model that I actually got done this week is, and I'm after breaking a big chunk of stuff off it, a big chunk of the snow is gone. Boom! So big it doesn't fit in, so I'm going to have to move this zoom out. Okay, I'm going to go back to my normal setup and I'll come back to you. Okay guys, so this here is the Ancestral Guardian, he is now finished, uh, see I'm trying to use the background um, for this thing here, so I think I might get the, I was looking at the light box and green stuff for it, it's probably going to make this a whole lot easier for me, uh, just all together, because this is not working out well. Um, what I'll do is I'll pull him in and show you. So he is actually a pretty big dude, like, um, this is me up a maximum zoom out now. See a snowy base there. Um, I kind of tried to build the base up in such a way that it was like a mountainy alcove. That he, as in, uh, if you're going up to a mountain, there's a big door, and this guy's kind of like one of the garden statues at the side of it. Was kind of the idea I had when I was going with it. So uh, he's not sealed yet. He will be sealed very soon. all the green and stuff on that was airbrushed. I just uh, used a brush to do the gold work on them and washed it and I used the uh, GW Soulstone Blue paint to do his gems and I'll show you the flame on his back in just a second so you can kind of see where the flame is starting there. Now the lighting's not great on this but there is pictures up on the Instagram you can see how messy my desk is in the background. Yeah, so that's it guys for this week. Um, hopefully next week I'll have finished the Signar ba uh, Jax and hopefully Beth Maddox. I have two Skin of Moans, I have the one with Calissa. I have Farmer Skin of Moans with his dungarees and all are sculpted on. I have the Frightmare, I have the Rattler, I didn't get any photo with the Gorehound, so he still needs his uh, neck reconfigured. I have the Clockatrice, and I have Zal2. Now Zal2 is a scoring warcaster, he's nothing to do with Signar stuff. Uh, this stuff's all just been Prime Brown, because it's the only primary I have. So he will be painted up the same as the Supreme Guardian in the background. 
So I'm going to cut it there guys. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next week's update.